Good afternoon, this is Kathleen at my Alabama Farm Life. And today I'm just gonna do a little walk around of the farm to let you guys see what's been going on. So this is my newest flock. This is six chickens, five of them are roosters and I've got my one little hen over there on the side away from all these pretty boys. These guys are pushing 22 weeks old and it's really time to cull them from the, the bunch. We're gonna keep the one, we're gonna keep Shadow Bob. He's the one that's the blackest and uh, the one that started maturing first. I think he's also the biggest one of the bunch, but he stays while the rest of them go. So this Sunday, me, Andrea, and Winslow are gonna get in the backyard and we're gonna take these four guys to freezer camp. Now across the street behind Eleanor's house are my layers. This is Pretty Boy and he is our rooster of the bunch. I've got him separated from the hens. I kick him out at night to give these girls a breather. Now these ladies are about a year old and I have not had any problem with them laying. I have uh, three Rhode Island red mixes and then I have two black stars. And then I have two older chicks that are the red stars. We are getting about three to six eggs a day from our hens, which is really great. Uh, that gives us plenty of eggs in our household and plenty of eggs at Eleanor's. And we've actually given a couple of dozen away to our friends who really appreciate it, especially with the price of eggs right now. We are hoping here in the next couple of weeks to uh, put at least a dozen and a half eggs together and put them into the incubator. Uh, we only have eight hens right now. Um, the one that's still too young to lay yet, but um, we're gonna get her across the street into our hens and get her incorporated and um, we'll see what happens. And we're thinking about bringing the two full grown black hens over here for Shadow Bob so that we can get some eggs out of them and uh, see what kind of mix that we can come up with. I really do like those black sex links or those black star birds. They are a nice heavy bird and they are great layers. We have a lot of plans for our chickens, but I think I'm going to stick with just uh, keeping my Rhode Island Reds and those Black Stars. They are just great birds as far as I'm concerned, and they do really well here on our farm. We are really loving these raised beds. Um, I've got some metal bars over the top of them, and then I also have some garden mesh to keep the animals out but the bars aren't really doing a good job keeping the water off of them. The water has pulled on them pretty badly, but everything seems to look okay. I am truly amazed at how well this bed has done so far. We have cabbage and spinach. Look at all that beautiful spinach and my carrots are also coming up very nicely. Everything looks great. Now on this bed, I have planted some beet seeds, but so far nothing has sprouted. It just might be too cold. And then I only have this one cabbage left. I have another box of two of those raised beds. And hopefully one of these days soon, I'm gonna get that box out and I'm gonna get two more raised beds built and uh, filled up and we're going to get them planted uh, and ready for spring. I'm actually thinking about buying a couple of more if I can find them on Amazon. They were really inexpensive. And um, it, like I said, they work really well. I'm thinking about maybe taking them across the street and using them for my asparagus bed because I really do need something to raise them up and um, something to protect them a little bit more during the winter time and also from the weeds and the grass that grow out there that are up, that are pretty aggressive. And I'm also looking at putting some garlic out with my grapes and they'd also work out pretty well there too. Again, same thing, 
get them up off the ground, protect them better, and keep them away from the aggressive grasses that we have growing around here. And now I want to say thank you to Dave and Brad at Redline Power Sports. They are our local bad boy mower dealership, and they put us in a 54-inch Magnum. That's the MZ Magnum bad boy zero turn mower and we are loving it as soon as we get some good mowing weather which we're hoping is sunday we're going to take this out and show you what it can do another nice thing about redline power sports is that they are very local to us and they also work on John Deere mowers. So when they dropped off our new zero turn mower, they picked up our John Deere, I think it's an L145, and they took it to their shop and got it fixed. We were having some problems with it. Um, it was rattling really bad and breaking belts and they called me up yesterday, said it was fixed and they are going to deliver it back to us sometime this afternoon. So we're going to keep the little John Deere. We're hoping that we can teach Vincent how to use it. Um, he saw that zero turn and he wanted to get on it and learn how to ride it. And we're like, no, you gotta get on the John Deere first. Once you are good on that little John Deere, then we'll put you on the zero turn. He is still a little bit shorter than me, but um, he's growing fast and he will be on that zero turn in no time, I am sure. He's really excited about learning how to, to drive it. I am also excited about learning how to drive the zero turn. I, I did teach myself how to use my dad's Husqvarna, but um, I'm gonna let Warren figure out how to drive the zero turn. Um, he's got a lot of practice that he wants to do for it. He's gonna probably get out on Sunday and drive it around all over until he feels really comfortable with it. And then once the newness has worn off a little bit, then I'm gonna make him teach me how to drive it. So that's going to be it for this video today, guys. I'm going to ask you to subscribe if you haven't already. It is free, and I would love to have you as part of my friends and family. I also want to remind everybody about my second channel, Audiobooks with Kathleen Pate. I have two new New Testament verses up, and I also posted a short story. Um, I think it's going to post this afternoon, probably about the same time as this one. So I would really appreciate it if you guys would go over and watch that too. If you like it, subscribe. I would love having you as part of my family over there too. So like I said, this is it for this video. You guys have a blessed and joyous day and I will see you on my next video.